new videos every day. Life, wisdom, psyche truth, massage. Welcome back everybody. This is Gregory Gorey. And today we're going to do some relaxing head and scalp massage. So I like to start uh, back here, back behind the ear. This feels really, really good. Uh, I love having the, I love the feeling of this. This myofascial system actually winds um, through and wraps up and connects into there so you can do both sides, little circles, just getting the whole ear and surrounding structures to move with it, go in the opposite direction. You want to be pulling hair. If you're hearing a bunch of hair pulling, you got to check in with your person. We're going to turn her head even more, get back up into this part of the head, nice and slow. And almost think about this like when you've gone to get your hair cut and there's a really good shampooer. That's, that's what you want to be doing, you want to be getting uh, you aren't going over the hair and pulling the hair, you're making contact with the scalp and then getting the scalp to, to move under your fingertips as you've got that tissue locked in. Same thing on the other side, starting back behind the ear and coming all the way around. on both sides, nice and slow, not too pokey, not pulling the hair. And as we're coming up, we're going to get up into the top of the head to the crown. I'm taking my fingers and I'm just making little light circles here together and you can do this anywhere on the scalp it should all feel good now we're going to get into a muscle called the temporalis and the temporalis is one of your main jaw muscles and it covers this whole area right here and inserts down here. And so we're just going to come in on both sides. You're going to feel the uh, it's bony, 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 bony. And then there's a drop off right about there. And that's where the temporalis is. So we're just doing a little light circles again.
If you don't know how to give a massage uh, and you want to help somebody relax, just massaging somebody's temples lightly uh, can be a really effective way of helping somebody to de-stress. Not a lot to it, just coming in, make sure you're not pulling the hair, make sure you're not poking too hard. But just about everybody likes a nice scalp massage. So now that we've fully released that muscle, we're gonna come up onto this occipital ridge and we're going to come in and just do a little light pressure there. Sometimes these can, there can be trigger points here. Uh, be sensitive. If you know how to do trigger point therapy, you can um, be in communication and clear that out. If your sole goal is to do um, relaxation work, then don't worry about it. Just press lightly and move on. Take my thumbs together and we're going to sweep this out. Some nice little circles again. Come in and get underneath that ridge. Press up into the bone lightly. Following it around. Getting down into the jaw. Very light work. We aren't trying to fix any temporomandibular dysfunction with these techniques. We're just trying to get blood flowing, heart rate calming. And Kratos staying nice and relaxed. Sometimes when you're doing this, people will still be rigid and clenched and their lips won't move when you're um, massaging this uh, lower part of the face because they're gripping. Nice. Well, that's a real simple little trick for your tool bag if you're trying to help somebody relax. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about massage techniques, check out bodyworkmasters.com.